Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I am going to show you how you can solve error PIP is not recognized as internal or external command, operable program or a batch file. So this error you get whenever you try to install some of the Python library using PIP command and because of some reason your PIP does not work. So in today's video I will show you how you can solve this error. So first of all let me open my command prompt and let me show you that whether I am getting this error or not. So just type cmd and open your command prompt and now here I will type a command pip or pip so i am pressing enter as soon as i am pressing enter i am getting this error message that pip is not recognized as internal or external command so now let's see reason behind this so for that i am going to open environmental variable so in search you can simply type env and here you can see it's showing me edit the system environmental so just click on that and now here under advanced tab click on this environmental variable and here we are having user variable as well as system variable so we will be using system variable and now here there is a variable known as path this variable is available in both user as well as system so now let me just uh, select this path and click on edit button so if I click on edit button nowhere you can see there is a uh, python path added over here python as well as python script path so that's the reason we are getting that uh, error that it is not recognized so there are so many software uh, which you use on command prompt if you get the error the particular command is not recognized this is the solution you have to set the path so now i'm just going to close this path i will be showing you how to set the path and which path is to be set so i have closed my environmental variable and and now I will be opening my IDLE. So just type IDLE and here just click on this open file location. So as soon as you click on this, uh, you are going to get this uh, option. So it is showing me different shortcuts, IDLE and other shortcuts. So I don't want this shortcut. I want actual location. So I will be right clicking on this IDLE and I will be selecting open file location. So it will take me to it actual installation location so uh, this python does not get installed into program files so this is the location of my python on my machine i have python 3.11 so this is the location so now i'm going to just copy this path and simply i'm going to paste this path copied path in my environmental variable so again i will open my environmental variable and here again i am going to click on this environmental variable and now i will be selecting path under system variable and then click on this edit button and now what you have to do you have to click on this new button and the paste the copied path over here and click on ok now we have to add one more path that is the script path python 311 you can see there is a script folder so this contains all the scripts so here you can see my pip is also there so i will be copying this path and again i will be creating a new variable inside path environmental variable and i will be pasting over there so let me go to environmental again i didn't close this because i wanted to add one more uh, uh, value in this path variable so let me select path again and click on this edit variable okay now click on this new and now paste the copied path that is the script path and here now we have pasted both the path python 311 that is the location installation location and script now click on ok ok and one more time ok so now your path setting is done okay so now again i will be opening my command prompt and here i will show you my pip version which is installed so for that i will be typing pip and hyphen hyphen version so you can see it is showing me pip 22.3.1 so now it's not showing me error message that it's not recognized as internal or external command you can see i type 
PIP command also rather than typing PIP hyphen hyphen version. So nowhere I am getting that error. So your error is resolved. I hope guys by following my video you are successfully able to resolve error. If yes then do hit on like button and if you have any kind of query you can put in comment box. I will surely reply to your queries. And guys if you are new to my channel please subscribe to my channel and don't forget to press bell icon to receive notifications from my channel thank you guys for watching my video till end i'll see you in my next video till that bye bye and take care